So hello everyone, thanks for coming. We are uh, trying to explain uh, this research that uh, we made in the last uh, year and a half, but actually started uh, much longer ago, maybe in, in the early 40s, when uh, uh, Jacques Cousteau uh, in France, uh, in a France occupied by the Italian fascism, uh, tested for the first time this weird uh, apparatus called Aqualang and uh, in one, one morning with the only help of uh, his wife Simone he puts the apparatus on and he lightly goes in the water and breathes underwater for the first time uh, for the history of man. So basically uh, in the same day in his diary he, he notes this uh, for me, very funny quote that is uh, each yard of debt we claim in the sea would open to mankind 300,000 cubic kilometers of living space. So basically, uh, that's how our research started. Uh, Jacques Cousteau uh, invented uh, uh, three main things that changed the idea and, and the meaning of the ocean. Before him, uh, the sea was a black thing, was a uh, lived by monster and was uh, the metaphor of the uh, unconscious in, in literature and in painting and in, in any kind of representation. He invented first the, the, the underwater goggles to actually see underwater. And uh, you can see this is a family photo, so the Jacques Cousteau with the two sons and the wife, Simone. And then in 1943, he experimented the Aqualung, so the, the first uh, scuba diving uh, apparatus. And a uh, few um, years later, he, he developed the first underwater camera, the Nikonos. Actually, he, he, he invented this, this, uh, this camera in France, and then uh, Nikon, the Japanese uh, brand, uh, saw the, 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 the project and uh, bought the project and start uh, selling the project worldwide. So basically, that's the inspiration of the project. Uh, our project is about the idea of uh, uh, viewing underwater through a screen, whether it's a camera, a mask, or, or a projector, or a computer. But it's, it's about the possibility to experience uh, the underwater that it's actually very often only a mental dimension that it's impossible to experience. This is our backstage uh, photo with the two cameras we use for the project in Africa in general, both Nikonos. And uh, we have to say that uh, it, it's, it's, still, uh, it's still a camera that is not um, still the best. I mean, the underwater, for the underwater photography, for, there are a lot of uh, new digital cameras, but the, the one that Cousteau invented is still the best lens in, uh, that you can buy. Yeah, actually the funny thing that he designed the lens in order to be slightly transformed by the water. So actually the final lens is the water uh, in front of the camera. So if you take the camera and you, and you take a photo out of the water, it's going to be completely out of focus because it's calculated for the, for the, the different way that light uh, crosses uh, water. The story of, of this experiment that is called Conscial Toast starts in, uh, in France uh, with, the, with the money of the Aquarium of Monaco, especially. Uh, and so, uh, in uh, 1963, in the, in the summer of 1963, the Rosaldo and Calypso, the two, under, uh, the two ships of Jacques Cousteau, they leave from Marseille and they, in, and they head to the Red Sea in order to, to try to install the first underwater colony, in which uh, five people were going to live for one month w without ever surfacing. This is the, the place in which the colony was built, in the Red Sea, and the beginning of our experience uh, uh, on this project is uh, really a chance, because we, we were sailing in, uh, from Egypt to Sudan, to Eritrea actually, and uh, we, we just uh, stepped by in this island in the middle of nowhere in the Red Sea, and we found uh, this, um, this relic. And so the, our story, it, it, we didn't know nothing about uh, the Cousteau uh, colony. So for the first time we saw this 
beautiful uh, natural architectural things. But uh, this is the this is the the drawing that Cousteau uh, himself made of the colony. It's very simple. So basically, this is the Rosaldo. Let me show you. This is the Rosaldo, and this the two house underwater house at uh, 11 meter. And there was another house with the, in which two two men uh, lived for uh, one week. One week. One week. Yeah. At uh, 26 meter. And then there was also a deep uh, station just to, to in case of a shark attack to, to hide. That was how this Jacques Cousteau presents uh, the, the, the project. Uh, this is the, the, the sketch of the, of the famous starfish house that is actually the only building that is still uh, standing in the underwater location and it's the one that you will see again and again in the, in the exhibition. And uh, this was the, the, the bigger laboratory. This building got removed after the, the uh, one month it was uh, underwater. The other one was uh, left there on, on purpose. This is some pictures in, in uh, which they, you see how they install uh, the architecture. It was really difficult because the, the the air inside the, the underwater house is very strong, the, 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 um, and so they have to put a lot of lead on the legs to, to keep it on the bottom of the sea. Okay. So basically, uh, one, 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 one film, uh, the whole thing is an experiment, is an, a scientific expedition, is an anthropologic uh, expedition, uh, experiment also. But it's also the set uh, to shoot a, a film that is called uh, Le Mont Saint Soleil, uh, that uh, actually is, uh, uh, won the Academy Award uh, for Best Documentary in 1964. And um, for some weird reason, uh, had a very short distribution, especially because uh, New York Times gave uh, a very bad review uh, to the movie because uh, two of the main uh, and most dramatic scenes of the film, they were actually fiction. Cousteau uh, reacted with great offense to this uh, declaration, and uh, years later, basically, the movie was impossible to find. We, 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 we bought it from a collector, uh, and, uh, but uh, there are really few copies. We had to buy the film, like sh the 16 millimeters version, and then we, we actually uh, transfer it in, 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 into digital. So, so uh, are images of the colony, uh, the experiment is real, five people never serve for, for a month, but a few details are, are, are actually made up. And uh, from uh, our point of view, this uh, is the proof that uh, Jacques Cousteau had actually a vision, an artistic consciousness, and uh, for him uh, the, uh, the expression, the final expression, was more important than the, than the technical uh, tools that he had at the time. And, uh, and, and all the rest. He had a, a dream of, of, uh, of the underwater as a, as a living uh, state. As you see, they, they were playing chess and smoking yeah. underwater. There is, a, there, is a funny, there is a funny quote on, on the diary of Cousteau that says, cigarettes smoke underwater burn twice as quickly because of, of greater air pressure. So basically, uh, and there are very, uh, very many other funny things. Uh, uh, they, they, they experience the, the growth of the hair as, as twice as fast also because of pressure. And, uh, and they, they stay there basically, this is like a sun bath that they have to do. Uh, because there is no sun, so that you, you, can, you have to replace the, um, the power of the rays of the sun with this. Kind of uh, and then it's funny how they say that uh, uh, they are underwater, but they, they are French uh, men and they like to eat meat, and so they are cooking these steaks underwater. <laughs> and, and they use the vacuum cleaner to, 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 to clean their own habitats. Uh, so it's actually a, a very domestic scene. And, and the, fun, the, the, the title of our exhibition, the title of the project, uh, is The Liquid Door. Basically, the difference between a submarine and, and this uh, kind of architecture is the way to enter and the, and the, and the pressure. Uh, status basically there is no uh, there is nothing that you need to open and close in order uh, to to leave the, the the water out and there is just the, a surface of uh, like let's say a, a lake made by the pressure to divide the inner into the outside so as you can see 
building part that is like the bottom of the building, and it's also the way inside the building. So basically, you need to imagine this as a diving bell. Uh, imagine to take a, a glass and, and put it in your sink in the kitchen, and the bubble uh, stays inside the glass, and so that's the, spa the living space. So it's just done uh, uh, with, with uh, pressurized uh, air inside the, the house. But there, there, is, there, is no, there is no door, it's a liquid door. You, you, you will see later on, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll show they you. They host the parrot uh, during the... Yeah, this is a, a very period. funny scene of the movie in which a, a parrot meets a parrot fish. <laughs> a, a, and... Uh, they, say, they say to control uh, the air because the parrot feel, uh, you know, that there is uh, like poison in the air before the humans, but... And uh, again, uh, another very important thing, as I told you, the part of the money comes from the uh, Oceanographic Institute of Monaco. And, uh, and it's interesting how modern aquarium and uh, underwater architecture, they, uh, they are uh, born in the same, they, sh they share the, the genesis and also several issues. So let's say that uh, Cousteau himself describes the situation as a, as a human aquarium in which you don't, they don't really know who is inside and, and who's outside. And um, this is a video. This is part of the um, exhibition. It's a, if, even a, a video in which we use uh, some footage from TikTok videos. It's a four minute video, but it's, it's fine, so I can tell you a few things about it. Basically, uh, when we decide to do an, an art exhibition on these uh, themes, we, we, we were looking for the right space to use. And, uh, and very often uh, exhibitions are always in, in the white box, and, uh, and we were thinking that the white box was not actually the right space to display aquatic ideas. So we, we tried uh, to approach the New York Aquarium at Coney Island, and we asked uh, to use uh, uh, the fish tanks as a, as a space to display our aquatic ideas. And uh, it was not easy, it took a lot of effort, but uh, in the end uh, we had the chance, with the help of art in general, to produce the whole exhibition in collaboration with the aquarium. So basically we spent the last uh, um, uh, months diving in the aquarium to install uh, the works that you are going to see later on. And the first idea was also to have like a long-term exhibition at the aquarium, but uh, we discovered that it's not so easy to maintain anything underwater because uh, algae grow very fast, and so the maintenance of the works uh, was going to be too difficult. So we, we had to go ephemeral, so basically we, we did a ephemeral installation that we documented, but also we, uh, these uh, 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 algae issue became uh, central in our uh, inspiration. So basically, as, as Giovanna was introducing very well, uh, we have like a, an architecture problem, like a, a restoration problem, how to restore these underwater buildings that still there. And we are trying to give like an artistic answer because uh, that's, that's all, all we can do. And the, the, first, the first project that came uh, to our mind was the, the one of uh, using some balloons to seal up the, the broken portholes of the, of the underwater architecture and uh, pump, uh, again, uh, some pressure air, air inside, this time crossing the liquid door to enter a sort of Alice in Waterland space because uh, even the inside of the building now is completely covered by algae, corals, and uh, anemone. So basically, this is... This is uh, uh, Option A, let's say, smoking underwater, and, uh, he, 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 and uh, it's funny how he, even in Cousteau notes there is a relationship between uh, uh, human lungs and the structure of, cor of corals. So you see by yourself the analogy between the two. Yeah, those are actually the, the, bl the blood system in our lungs, and, and it looks a lot like a, a coral formation. So a, 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 again, it was, was funny to, to recreate uh, with. Uh, the condition to smoke a cigarette or to drink a glass of wine or to listen uh, uh, to a piece of music uh, uh, in an underwater condition. So, basically, this is optional. We didn't find the money. We, we, we submit the project to, to Céline Cousteau, which is uh, Jacques' granddaughter, 
and she loved the project, but uh, we have, Sudan is not a, a very easy place to go on vacation and, and do funny things because in, in the meanwhile uh, there is a very bad uh, dictator that is uh, governing the country. Since so, 30 years. So basically we, we, we are still dreaming to do that, but we had to give another solution to express our ideas. And that how, uh, and again, uh, that's why we chose to, to use uh, the aquarium. Yeah, this is a funny photo, you can see the, the fish uh, in the window on the left, this is like uh, studying the man and, and the man is studying the fish in another aquarium. Even they, they, themselves, they, they feel, after a while, they feel that they, they are uh, in a human aquarium because they are uh, in their habitat all the time with the fish outside, so it was a kind of reverse situation. And they were studying and collecting in aquarium, so it's, there is a kind of... Uh, very deep relation between the beginning of the underwater architecture and the beginning of the aquariums. Yeah. Even because they were collecting the, the first big collection for the Monaco Aquarium um, in, in Monte Carlo. So it's there are some animals that they, they die when they are taken uh, out of the, of the water because of the uh, different of pressure that has, have been studied for the first time underwater with the, in, a, in a space that had the same pressure of, of, of our size. Uh, those, those are some structures that they were around the colony to keep the fish alive in the meanwhile for a month uh, before shipping everything back to, to France, uh, to Europe. So this funny structure that looks a bit like a, a platonic solid, uh, it, it, or this other one, uh, for us, was uh, an aquatic sculpture, and uh, it, we actually um, used uh, this kind of uh, forms uh, in our uh, exhibition. Uh, again. This, this is the, 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 the crucial point that I was telling you about earlier. Uh, even the underwater architecture needs to be brushed again and again every day, because otherwise algae and other animals, uh, uh, I say animals because actually corals are uh, animals, they, they, they would cover uh, the, the surfaces and, 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 and get the corrosion go very, very, very fast. So this was a, a, daily, a daily practice that uh, it's, it's shared underwater and at the, at the aquarium. And this is another video that we shoot at a New York aquarium that in a way deals with those uh, issues. This is Ilaria, <laughs> New York Aquarium is located in Coney Island. I don't know if you guys have been to Coney Island, but uh, uh, it's, uh, as Ren Collas says very better than I can say, it's actually the other side of New York is where the, all the theme park were built and the aquarium again was intended as a theme park uh, about the ocean and that's also why we, we like to, to, to work with, uh, with Coney Island because uh, the site itself gave uh, a bit of craziness to the, to the whole process. Again, this is a work uh, that is about the view in a way. So the vision that we have of, of the nature, that in this case is the, the fake nature of the aquarium, the diorama. All you can see in the picture is completely plastic, except from the fish, obviously. But uh, the, all the corals and the, and the rocks and the stone, everything is made with resins and plastic. So it's really strange how they, you know, they, they have to clean the real nature, that is the algae that grows, to show the fa fake nature, so it's really um, symptomatic, let's say. And so we did this work that is, um, we show this, this piece in a, um, in a monitor, so it's more clear these things of the editing, so the screen of the aquarium is the screen of the monitor in a way, so there is this kind of um, play with the... Image. 
This is an, another piece that uh, we for us is an abstract painting. Uh, the title is uh, Large Glass and it refers to Le Grand Bear of, of Marcel Duchamp. And the idea of the piece is, is like a self generated abstract painting made with algae growing on the surface of the inner part of the aquarium. So basically, we ask uh, the aquarium not to clean our, 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 our spot. And uh, this is the, the result of, of the detail. And again, here I would like to go back to the restoration problem of the, of the building. Basically, uh, we intend this as, a, as an attempt to, put, to, to, to try to restore the, the underwater architecture, but not uh, doing a, a sample of, 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 of a, a clean square uh, on the building, it is all, now all covered by the algae, but vice versa, uh, getting the aquarium uh, dirt. I don't know if it makes sense. So basically one option was going to Sudan and try to see if it was possible to have the surfaces of the architecture back. And we, we instead we did the opposite. We couldn't go to Sudan, we, we couldn't go down there and clean. And basically, probably it didn't make any sense either. So we, we tried to, to bring the, the problem inside the, inside the work. And, uh, Even the, the idea to go back there and to seal the, the hole, the, the, the window, and to, uh, to smoke again in the place or to listen to some music is, uh, is a better idea of restoring, in, in the sense that it's uh, the restoration of the dream, of the, of the spirits of the, of the architecture, more than the original structure and the architecture itself. Now we will show you uh, alterna uh, alternating some images of the re of the relic. So you will see how the, the building is uh, now underwater, together with uh, some images of the backstage of the aquarium in Coney Island. So basically, it's going to be a bit crazy. There are two very far away locations. One is underwater in Sudan, and and the other one is uh, in New York in Coney Island. And uh, in, on one side. Uh, we have uh, what the sea is trying to do with the structure that man made and on the other side uh, there is like the struggle to express aquatic ideas so those shells they contain like plastic corals they are going to end up to be the the part of the diorama of, of, of the aquarium this is for example the, the relics of the, of the platonic aquarium that you have seen before It's very interesting how, how the corals and the algae transform um, uh, human structure and architecture in something that is really organic and natural again. So at the end you don't understand what is natural, what is not, what is human and what is... So uh, again, this is the backstage of, of, of a fish tank in the exhibition space. So those are like scenography. The blue is, is, is there to, to, to make the, the tank look uh, deep, and the lights also, they, they are there to, 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 to give the impression of the sea. Uh, this is the food uh, they use for the, for the tank, yeah. the lab. The, the, the lab uh, actually to, to, to feed the jellyfish. It's another one. Playing with the light, it's exactly like um, like the theater. It's a theater in which uh, the fishes are acting every day. This, this, this is the inside of the fish house now. So, so it's very nice to see how it is now because it's it's more beautiful than before for us. I mean, it's like a, this natural uh, colored beautiful. Um, carpet made with algae and corals it's like uh, it's impossible to restore something like this and th this is uh, uh, the last project that we are presenting tonight and it's actually an underwater installation that we did in this uh, uh, very beautiful uh, uh, aquatic architecture that is actually the 
the tank where the seals are kept at the New York Aquarium, and in which actually, from, from the architecture point of view, we, we, we point out the, 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 the lines of, of, the, um, of, the, of, the, of the forces. It's, it's not gravity, the main, the, main, uh, the, the main force that the building needs to, to, to support, but it's vice versa. So basically, this is nothing more than a bubble that we actually try to hold uh, underwater. So basically, the, the, the idea of this project is to hold uh, a bubble underwater and don't let the bubble reach uh, the, the surface. And um, it, it, it's done only with a, 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 a plexiglass uh, do transparent uh, dome and a big bubble of air. In a way, it's an ephemeral monument to this uh, uh, theme of living and breathing underwater. Okay. Yeah, again, here you can see the, the liquid door, so the, the surface that uh, is uh, underneath the, the dome. It's actually a mirror that is reflected in the bottom of, 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 the, of the space here. And uh, the way to enter uh, the, the, the space is bigger with just swimming up and you, you can you can have access to the, the dry part made by the bubble it's it's funny and i think it connects well to the to the theme of the exhibition uh, that you guys are, are, are displaying here at cpa but uh, jacques Cousteau, when uh, the man reached the moon was uh, not able anymore to find the money to to continue this kind of experiment and uh, this was actually the model of a uh, conch-shell tree that never got uh, made that is uh, seen like a completely transparent uh, uh, bubble again in, in which uh, uh, there is a, a, a domestic space uh, and so uh, again the idea of, 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 the, of the underwater architecture and aquarium they look more and more alike uh, with the power of uh, imagination. I think we have finished. <laughs>